UiPath has a great example of a customer's page. I think if you go to uipath.com slash customers, it will redirect. You guys have a really robust filtering system. And because you have so many customer stories, 13 or so pages of it. Can you tell me a little bit, how do you think about the role of the page and why is it the way it is? Because I think it's a really stellar example of something that a prospect can really self-serve. They can filter and find exactly what they want. It's very segmented which is very unique and to me is very in line with the future of how buyers buy, which is like more self-service, right? We're actually in the middle of redesigning this page. I think we're only adding more filters, which again is a testament to how big the body of work there is which is a result of having many people at UiPath enabled to work with customers to document their stories. So we have regional marketers that are actually the ones writing these stories now, often with help from an agency or a writer. Not all of them have the best English, actually. So they are you know, identifying the best customers in their market, sitting them down to document their story. Sometimes they have them on a webinar and write the case study. And once ready, they are enabled to queue it up to get published inside of our resource center, which has a page dedicated to case studies. So the case study library does have filters for region. It has filters for products because we have multiple products. It has filters for topics. Oh, and it it will or does, I'm thinking more about the new design, have filters for industries and departments. So in total, we've got over maybe 200 case studies. That's a lot. If someone like a salesperson or a marketer is not going to spoon feed you the ones that are most relevant to you, how can we make it easy for someone to find them themselves? And so we've looked at different dimensions that are aligned to our go-to-market motions, and we've enabled people to explore all content or at least these case studies in particular on those dimensions. 